Right, so just before I start this video, I haven't loaded this game up in a long time. For many obvious reasons, I don't need to go into detail because, of course, if you've been following my channel, and even just follow me on social media and Twitch, you'll understand exactly my uh, issues with this game. But apparently today, update 3.3 .3 is out. We have a new scoreboard, so I just want to go and speculate and hopefully not rage too much. And... We're on Hourglass, one of the worst maps. What can go wrong? I can barely see anything. The sun's coming from a window and I don't have any blinds up right now. Oh, I could be looking directly at someone. Oh, hey, first headshot. Let's go. Almost forgot about the plus system. One of the good things in this game, man, the plus system. I love it. Okay, seems like they got everything. Right, the scoreboard. Okay, it looks fine. It's nothing special, you know. It just is what it is. It's a scoreboard. It's something that we've had to wait. What is it, four months for? Bear in mind, I haven't played this game in a little while. I'm probably going to be a bit rusty, not going to lie. Just lost of objective. Yeah, I just saw in the chat right there that someone's controls still keep locking up. Go on, go on. Oh no, dude. Okay, we've got one hit on him. Got another hit on him. Jesus, that took us too long, man. Come on. Got him in the end. Got that one as well. Tank over there. I'm not chilling there. Fuck that. Oh, and we're alive. Still is bolty. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> for, for anyone to have to wait this many months for a supposed legacy feature. That's been in the game. It's been in the franchise since forever. And all of a sudden... Oh, let's remove it. See, you know, my theory is right. We remove the scoreboards because the new people was going to be dying so much. And of course, if you're one of those... Like myself, we all check the scoreboard down and again, see how you're doing, see how your team's doing. You know, I, I feel like maybe it's going to put people off playing the game because of dying a shitload and they don't want other people to see I, I don't know man I don't know it's a conspiracy theory so take it with a pinch of salt and it's mine I don't care just a thought I'm honestly just riding around in the boat he just oh oh that that was entirely intentional I wish the sniper went back to battlefield 5 man I'm being completely honest, they've got the sniping bang on there. Oh, we got a little quick scope. Not a headshot, but I'll take it. I was playing a little bit about our field 5 yesterday, and... I know that game had been out a lot longer. And believe me, I was there for all the problems it was having, and... I can honestly say that game's actually bearable. It's playable. It's not too punishing for the infantry player. You can do okay on that. I mean, I'm a bit rusty these days. I haven't played that game within a, you know, in a good few months. So, but that's kind of what the reason why I stuck about with this game for way longer than I should have. Just thinking that it was just my problem. It's just new. It's not what I'm used to, and yeah, but it, it became very apparent. Very quickly, that I wasn't the only one with these frustrations. Basically, I'm getting slapped right now. But for the, for the for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to include the entire gameplay. Might even skip on to the next game now, near the end of the round anyway. So I will catch you there. Right, we're on to the next game. We're heading on to Kaleidoscope. I'm just reading the 3.3 .3 update and just seeing what exactly the changing and improving upon because i haven't really been keeping up to date with this game if i'm being honest but yeah there's fixes changes and improvements so improved scoreboard 
The steadfast in exclusive legendary bundle. Zero resistance skin for McKay. Blah to blah. Basically, load of nonsense. Rapid hammer weapon skin for the M44. Ripticular uh, melee weapon skin. Whatever that is. Um, yeah, but for the general, fix the game crash that uh, could occur on Origin or Xbox One when signing in out while using an Xbox One controller. Okay. Wasn't aware of that. Wasn't aware of that at all, but there we go. Setting chat key bindings no longer requires a game to restart to take effect. Adjusted aim assist on console to ensure that the system is in effect when analog sticks are, are at 100% at their range. Previously, it was only active at ranges below 100%. Well, I haven't noticed anything with that, but... Fix the bug where takedowns would not result in a kill on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. That, that would also happen on the new generation of Xbox, by the way. I haven't tried it yet, so we'll see. Establish new location for EU data center at Frankfurt. Alright then. If you, if you want to have a look at everything that has been changed and be curious... Whether it will help you to come back to the game, I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out. Apparently they've made changes to the modes as well, Conquest and Breakthrough. Fix the bug where securing objective XP events was triggered even after a capture point was already fully captured. Uh, for Hazard Zone, fix the visual bug displaying squad mates during the match found sequence. And another Hazard Zone fix, fix the bug where the end of round XP gains sometimes doesn't trigger. Or didn't trigger, sorry. I don't, I don't know, man. I mean, it's cool. It's an update. Is it enough to bring me back to the game? I don't think so. Until we see some new content, at least, I'm going to be just popping in there and again, seeing, seeing what changes are being made and going from there, really. At the end of the day, it's not enough, man. Like, Season 1 should have been rolled out by now. We should have been seeing some brand new content. We should be... At least seeing some new weapons. I, t I don't know, man. Like, uh, a lot of this stuff should have been implemented already, but, you know. Okay, I've got the K-38 now. Do what we can do. Oh, that is too far. See, even when there is cover in this game, it feels like you've got no cover. Does that even make sense? It feels in my head. Okay, yeah, that, that is a prime example right there. I've got cover behind this wall, but do I really have cover? <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, there you are. Oh, shit. Right, okay, we've got two Nightbirds and an Attack Heli. Over here, and I am dipping, I don't care. Pretty sure we have a friendly Heli right now that they're attacking, so I may try and... There I say head back. Oh, it's an attack early, so it's going to be a nuisance for the enemy Nightbirds. One of them is just being taken out, so good start. Wait, there we go. I just kind of just hope for the best there, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, there it is. So if you're interested in trying the game out, I gave you a few examples of what's been changed. Don't let my videos, right? If you're still enjoying Battlefield 2042 and you're getting annoyed by all this stream as content creators, it's constantly knocking it. Like, I fully appreciate that. If you're enjoying the game, crack on. At the end of the day, it's a video game. If you enjoy it, you enjoy it. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. I'm just, I'm just brutally honest on exactly how I feel. And if you disagree with that, that's fine. Anything, one thing I really enjoy in this game is being in a heli. I'm not exactly talented at it, but it, it's fun. 
to a certain degree. Lock on. Oh, we avoided it. We avoided it. Oh, I need to kill this guy. Where is he? Oh, that could have screwed me up now. How am I still? How am I still being tracked? Did not go behind the building. Okay, so I was probably in the wrong there, but I'm still gonna rage nonetheless. How me took care of the heli? It's an easy shot, but I'll take it. Man. So we're going to have to just hold this down a little bit. It hold it down. Kind of got lucky there, I think. We're alive still, but I'm not happy much objectives will do much. Uh oh. Uh oh. It's so obvious that EA, DICE, I'm not just going to fully blame DICE because I know they take the orders from EA pretty much and... Well, you know what, I'm going to blame EA. Whoever is at fault here. You're so out of touch with your fan base, it's not even funny, and you have a very, very loyal fan base as well. You have loyal players that will play the games through thick and thin. Through the problems, all the bugs, the lack of updates, the lack of content. People have stuck around, and sadly I'm not one of them right now. Because I have did this through all throughout Battlefield 5. And I stuck with this for as long as I could, from the beginning. Dice, EA. Whoever, please, like, just listen to your community. They understand what, what Battlefield needs, and you clearly don't. <laughs> That's all I have to say. And in all honesty, I think I'm done. I, I don't fancy playing another game. Or I, I even respawning right now. It's just very underwhelming. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, despite me ranting a little bit. But, yeah, those are the little details. That is the way I feel about this right now. And I will catch you on the next one.